Today, I want to give credit to what we've experienced as the best stroller of the year, in the sense that it's the model I've found myself recommending more than any other in my consultations with parents, due both to having a great balance of size, durability, terrain capability, and comfort factors, as well as a few additional characteristics that make it widely applicable to a variety of life circumstances and environments. It isn't the right choice for everybody, of course. Everybody's situation is different, but it does have a greater degree of lifestyle flexibility than most models out there. And the stroller I'm talking about then is the Upper Baby Cruise V2. But before I get into explaining what makes it a good choice for so many parents, let me just pause to say that this is in no way meant to be an advertisement for the model. We're not affiliated with Upper Baby or any other manufacturer for that matter, and we don't even use affiliate links on our channel but we do believe in giving credit where credit's due. So, what is it that makes the Cruise V2 so great then? Firstly, is the fact that the model is super easy and safe to recommend from a mechanical perspective. The chassis being built mainly from metal, with the design emphasizing simple mechanisms, for the most part, and structural reinforcement capable of tolerating a lot of weight and jostling from the terrain. And with this sturdiness, combined with much better suspension than is common to mid-sized models, and decently sized puncture-free wheels, 7 inches in the front and 10 in the rear, the Cruise V2 can be used in a variety of different environments, including broken sidewalks, most sorts of cobblestone, gravel, lawn, and dirt roads. The model isn't a true off-roader, of course, but it is built tough enough and has sufficient terrain capability to be adaptable in many different conditions. Secondly, the Cruise V2 has both a larger than average seat and shopping basket, while also having a folded size that's conversely a bit smaller than average, where, with the seat, the dimensions are roughly 110 centimeters in total length and 34 centimeters wide, with an intelligent distribution of proportions between the backrest, baseboard depth, and legrest length, something that can certainly not be said of all strollers, allowing for use with children up until around three and a half or four. While with the shopping basket, the uniquely large size and accessibility on the model is even more pronounced versus the vast majority of the competition, giving the Cruise V2 a distinctive advantage if you tend to get around in an urban environment without a car, where that extra space for groceries becomes nearly as important as the size of the seat, as well as for longer day trips, think picnics, amusement parks, etc., where you need to carry a lot of gear. And then, as I said, despite being larger than average with these features, the Cruise V2 actually both folds down smaller as a single model than a lot of the competition, models such as the Nunamix Next, the Boogaboo Fox 3, or Cybex Pre-M, for example, and also weighs a smidge less, making it a little better for both trunk space and storage at home. And lastly, there's the price and what you get for that price, where the Cruise V2 is sold cheaper than several of these other premium models since it doesn't come with a bassinet, which can really be quite an advantage, even if you're getting a stroller to use from birth, since rather than paying the relatively high price of a new bassinet, you have the option of instead either cutting costs by getting a second-hand bassinet, the Cruise V2 being compatible with Upper Baby bassinets as old as 2015, the infant snug seat, or a reclinable car seat. And the model, of course, also as a result, offers better value for parents looking to buy a stroller after the six-month bassinet period is over. While as far as what you get for your money is concerned, the Cruise V2 is definitely a premium model, with all the comfort features one might expect, stuff like an extendable canopy, rotatable bumper bar, no rethread harness, durable and high-quality textiles, a rain cover and insect netting included with purchase, and a range of car seat compatibility that's significantly wider than a lot of the rest of the market, especially in comparison to those brands who do a lot of business selling seats as well, such as Cybex or Nuna, and which even includes brands like Chico or Peg Perego, which generally are not compatible with a lot of other models at the top end of the market. In any case, we hope you found this video interesting, and if you did, please subscribe, or even hit the donate button if you're so inclined, as this sort of support really helps us to continue making videos in the future. If you're interested in learning more about the Cruise V2, I recommend watching our full review for the model, and a link has been added to the description. In addition, if you're currently shopping for a stroller, we have a buyer's guide on our Patreon page which lists a wide range of models that we recommend, with a lot of technical and lifestyle-related information. You can find it by following the link in the description as well. Thank you.